642 things to draw. This is prompt number 12? Yeah, 12. So we have two. Let's see. Tube socks and a crayon. Oh, okay. I think I have an idea for this, so I'm going to zoom in and just get started. What's up, voice mo over mode? Voice mo over mode? Whoa, that went really weird. All right. So for this prompt, I really liked it from the beginning. It just... I felt like I had a lot of ideas for this one, and it was kind of hard to choose which one to go with, honestly. So like I started every prompt, I was just drawn out of, you know, what they are. So a tube sock and a crayon. And I thought about a tube of tube socks, but the tube was a crayon. And then I thought about, like, little crayon socks sort of on a drying line, like they're out in the sun. And I feel like that would be really cute as, like, a washi tape that you'd see in, like, a planner thing. And then I just drew out a couple different versions of this crayon sock and maybe someone wearing these crayon socks and then I got another weird idea of having this personified character so I was going to draw like a crayon that was napping in a tube sock and as cute and as on brand as that is for me I went a very different direction with this prompt than I normally go so as always with my videos I sketch everything off camera because well Normally when I sketch, I get my face a little bit too close to the paper sometimes, or I'll change my mind, and well, I don't want to edit all that footage, and sometimes it's just, you know, boring to watch someone sketch for so long. Like, if you already have your idea figured out, it's not bad, but I just don't want to waste your time. Oh yeah, that part of the video is when uh, I was cracking my knuckles and stretching out my hands because I had been doing a lot of different work and my hands started to hurt, so it was... A well-needed hand stretch break. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just lining the general shape of everything here. And I went with this sort of foot shape. And yeah, I just made a template out of regular old cardstock because that's what I had. You'd use like, I don't know, cardboard or whatever else. Just some sturdy paper or something. And I traced out this foot and sketched it out. And then I cut it out, you know, all that stuff. And... That's what I use for my template, so all the feet would be the same. So my whole idea with this was to have these tube socks, and that's why I made the template so they would all be the same. And I was going to line them up so there would be eight of eight of these socks or feet in socks total. And then I had sketched over them those little, like, design lines that are on crayons. I guess, are they on all crayons? I, I was sort of going off of Crayola crayon specifically, but I don't know if this is like a curve shape specific to their brand or just cray I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is the shape that was on the crayons I had. So this is what I went with because, you know, it's a reference that I had to use. So I used it. And yeah, it was just to give it that like crayon shape look. And I feel like I've seen these socks out before, like at Hot Topic or FYE. Does everywhere else have FYE? It's like a mall store. It sells a lot of music and sometimes some weird Japanese candy and stuff. And it's great. But yeah. Anyway, back on topic. Gotta focus on the video. That was my whole thought with these was just to have like some crayon tube socks. Because I thought it would look cute. I also thought it was sort of perfect for this time of year. This prompt came at a very good time. Or... If it's a sad time of year for you, then sorry. But yeah, it's back to school season and crayons definitely remind me of back to school. You know, back in elementary school when you had to get that whole supply list ready, there's almost always crayons on that list. At least there were where I was growing up. So, you know, this prompt just came right at the back to school t time of the year. Why can't I speak? It's going weird. <laughs> so... Yeah, if you happen to be someone who is going back to school, whether you're a student, teacher, administrator, janitor, cafeteria worker, a parent of any of the above, or anyone else that I have yet to mention, oh, school board member, I guess that's another one I didn't mention. Yeah, if you are any of those people, um, I hope you have a fantastic school year and that it all goes well for you. Because I know the beginning of the year can be kind of stressful and exciting and nerve wracking and there's just, it's a lot. It's a start to a new thing and can bring up a lot of emotions, both positive and negative. But 
whoever you are in a school setting or this back to school time, I hope that it goes well for you. If you are just going to school for the first time or you're starting out at a new school, like maybe it's first year middle school, high school, college, whatever, or you're going back to school for something, I hope it goes really, really well. I don't know how many of you will be needing crayons for this time of year, but I hope that there is something positive from this video that you can at least think about when you're going back to school, especially if it's not something you're a big fan of. So yeah, I guess that's a decent segue into another thing I should mention. Uh, back to what, Since it is the back to the school year time, um, I'm a substitute teacher during the school year, so I'm pretty much, I work pretty much every single day just in different classrooms, and yeah, it, it can be a lot, <laughs> and I honestly don't know how you teachers do it every single day and can get all the stuff done and still have a positive mood, especially elementary school teachers. Wow, you guys are amazing. I, I really, I don't know how you do it. Whether you have coffee or not, I just, you, you guys are amazing. All right, I should probably go back to talking about the artwork. So what I'm using here, these are the Faber-Castell Gelatos, and they were on sale recently at my local Michael's Arts and Crafts store. And I haven't used them before, but I've wanted to because they're sort of like this, it's like a hybrid crayon almost. But yeah, I haven't have had too much experience using them, but I've wanted to use them. So I've been recently playing with them and figuring out how they work. And yeah, so they have this sort of neat texture where you could draw with them like a stick and it almost looks like a crayon texture but then you can blend it out with water and it's sort of like watercolor it's definitely chalkier than most watercolor but that was perfect for this prompt because it gave it that crayon look without all of those annoying waxy crayon bits getting all over the place everywhere and so i really liked it for this prompt specifically if you want to know more about these Faber-Castell gelatos, I'm going to be making a... Wow, why can't I get that sentence out? <laughs> I'm going to be making a review video on the Faber-Castell gelatos, and it should be out this Friday. Yeah, I should have it out this Friday. Once it is out, I will link it at the end card of this video so you can find it easier. And yeah, you can find out more about how these work on that video. But this prompt sort of shows how they work the best whenever they're like painted. I don't actually know if I use this technique in that, in the review video. I may, I'm not sure, but I have used this technique where I just go like draw with the stick part first and then go over it with a water brush after. But yeah, it seemed to work all right. This other method where I like Use the brush on the stick part to wet it, sort of like a watercolor pan, and then brush with it. Uh, this green color wasn't great with this technique. It came up really, really light, and I had a layer a bunch, and it it just wasn't the best for this one. But it's okay. I tried to make it work. But yeah, I'm... Whoa, what just happened with my voice? That was weird. Yeah, I'm almost done with this prompt. I really like how it turned out. Um, it's definitely very different from what I normally do. I normally have a much more cartoony style and this feels a, a little bit more abstract to me, but I really like how it turns out. And I think the use of the like black in the background for the negative space made it look really nice. Uh, the marker I use for that is just the uh, like Prismacolor marker. It's just Prismacolor alcohol-based marker. And I kind of have that one specifically designated for like full black backgrounds that I need to cover a whole bunch. I used to use Sharpies for this technique, but I just, I kill all my Sharpies so quickly when I do that. So this Prismacolor marker is working really well though, so far. And now that I've said that, I'm sure all of the ink has decided to dry up right now, because that's just, sometimes it's just how art supplies are. They're vengeful. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you haven't seen any of my other prompts before, I will link them in a playlist at the end card. And I hope you guys have a super awesome day. Thanks so much for watching these videos. It means a lot to me. If you guys have any thoughts on this, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are not already. 
And yeah, those are just some easy ways that you really help out my channel and help me figure out what you guys want to see. So yeah, have an awesome day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. see more shenanigans then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos oh you want to see more shenanigans like right now then check out these suggestions on your screen or head on over to my instagram thanks so much for watching guys check back soon for some more shenanigans bye